Let's finish this game off! Let's do this! Spooder Man! Spider Pig! Spider Pig does whatever a spider pig does. Go and revisit it early to complete challenges you may miss, but we're not doing that because we're not completing this game 100% because, you know... You know... You know. <laughs> anyway. I command reality itself! Now you don't need to get a swelled head about it. Right off the bat! You're full of something. Show off, show off. What's Mysterio? You're tearing me apart, Lisa! You can like light the whole Sahara. Oh. 
Now the tiny stands against me. Hey, I'm sensitive about my height, okay? Yeah, girls don't like guys who are under 6'3", okay? <laughs> Us short guys... Well, I'm not short. People do. I'm a spy a spider. Look what I do! You haven't forgotten your old friend. Oh, look at the orb! There are so many ways to destroy you. I know, I, I can see the orb. Oh, this is one of those games where they repeat the same freaking lines. Mysterio, you're not that top. This like takes me back to Spider-Man 2000, uh, the second Spider-Man on the PC, uh, the 2004 one. Let's fight! Da, 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 da. <laughs> Surprise party. Aww. Now comes annihilation. Annihilation. No! Now comes annihilation. No. Your annihilation. Going, little spider. <laughs> Made it. Another display of my power. Yeah, keep it up.
go. We're free All calling. Again? I mean, I'm standing on solid ground. It's so funny. 2098, my 100th uh, birthday. I grow weary of this battle. This should finish you. It should, but it won't. Oh. That one was actually close. Your time is running out. Okay, let's avoid going uh, going near Mysterio. There we go. The all creatures. Yes, I know.
can we upgrade? Oh, yes, we can. Yes, we can. That's the last upgrade we'll do for the game. Speaking of learning, you should learn how to count. Something tells me you're outnumbered. <laughs> Gentlemen, I really hate this fella. Oh. Come on, he's a blast to kick in the face. <laughs> you go. Shot. Oh, nice. Well done. The walls of reality. They did a whole code Leo right there. <laughs> You must all return to your own dimensions. See you later, older and less cool versions of me. Oh no! no. To me, all you guys are ancient history. Good to know there is a future, and men like you to carry on the good fight. Word. Bye, guys. Next time you should hang around longer. We could start a bridge club or something. Oh yeah. Time to drop you off at Super Villain Daycare. Thank you, Spider-Man. You should be proud to know your legacy is being upheld across time and space. Yeah, those guys were all right, but you have to admit, with four different Spider-Men, the one thing I know for sure, out of all of them, <laughs> I'm the best. 
and that is so not one of the most accurate team-ups <laughs> of all time. And what have we learned here today, Marvelites? That no matter what corner of the cosmos you may find yourself in, there'll always be a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man to save the day. And to all of you web-spinning wonders, I proudly say... Excelsior! So, yeah, we beat the game. Looks like... 15 minutes? Expect it to be a little longer. It's probably one of the shortest boss battles. Or final boss battles, I should say. Silver! Uh, easy as pie. Sure is. So, that was Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions. Oh, I didn't realize he had the bandages. That's funny. So, uh, that was it, that was pretty cool. It was, it, it, in a way, it sort of reminded me of, like, uh, the first Spider-Man game for the PS1, but sort of, like, a little more modern in some ways. But yeah, it was definitely worth the money. I, uh, I highly recommend... Uh, um, the PS3... I will say, though, the PS3 version will run you down quite a bit. It's a pretty rare game on the PS3 because when this... I mentioned it before, but it, it sort of went unnoticed for the most part when it came out. <laughs> totally naked. Uh, yeah, when this game came out, not a lot of people really uh, bought it at the time. You didn't see it a lot. <laughs> That's funny. Sandman. That's pretty clever. Um... Uh, yeah, he's uh, so it's like eighty to a hundred bucks. I paid a hundred for mine. If you want to know how much I paid for this game, just play this on my channel. Now you know. <laughs> but you know what? It was worth it because I really enjoyed playing this. It's really cool. I like that Deadpool is in this game. I know this game's also on the Wii, I believe, and the Xbox 360. How much is the Wii version? I want to kind of look that up right now. So Shattered Dimensions on the Wii, hopefully is a lot cheaper. Are you not? Ah, of course, no internet. <laughs> wow, the early smartphones. That's cool. I'll get up on my phone. Binox. Binox. Benoit. Okay, Shared Dimensions is pretty cheap on the Wii. It's like 20 bucks. About Xbox 360. Xbox 360 is rare. Okay. <laughs> so on the PS3 and Xbox 360, this game's pretty rare. Look like without her mask. On 
the DS, it's like 20 bucks. Spider Babies. Eh, Carnage. But yeah, if you have the money, if you want to play it, definitely play the PS3 version. Dedicated to our families and friendly to support, patience, and love. Yeah, definitely check this game out. And thank you all for watching. I love y'all. Whoever is, you know, <laughs> fish wolf. Oh, after sh after cred scene. <laughs> so, <laughs> what I missed? What the? What? Not said, kids. Not said. <laughs> <laughs> spider ham. See, when I was saying spider pig earlier, I knew there was a connection. <laughs> I was like, no way. Spider pig has to be in here. Now it's not spider man the pig though. It's spider ham. So, yeah. So anyway, what do we have after this? Um... Oh, Neil Patrick Harris did the voice of Spider-Man? I knew he sounded familiar. A lot of voice actors I know. Stan Lee, Dressies, Roger Bumpus, uh, let's see. I didn't know he did a voice, not a voice in this. That's the voice of Squidward. Um, yeah, so obviously next is going to be the sequel to this game, which is Edge of Time. That's going to be next, and then after that, um, uh, plans for Spider-Man PS... The second Spider-Man on the PS1. And also, I have... I'm looking at it right now. Spider-Man Friend or Foe, which is more of a beat-em-up game. And we also have coming up, I'm not going to say what it is yet, but it's going to be a Spider-Man game that literally I've not seen any gameplay footage on YouTube whatsoever. I look for this, and you may think, oh, wait a minute, it's one of the, the kid, is like, sort of, well, it is a kid game, but it's one of the activity center games. No, 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 no. This is a completely different. It was like based on a toy series of Spider-Man. I, I, I'm not going to say what it is because I don't want people to figure it All people are probably going to figure it out anyway. Somehow, but I actually did find a Spider-Man game that's, that was on the PC and if I get a copy of this, which I hope I do, I will definitely do a gameplay of it. Look out for that. And then we're pretty much done with all this. Well, I can't play Spider-Man 2, but again, I don't have a PS5, so I can't really do anything about that. So. release these games for, you know, PS, the new consoles, but they don't. I 
think it's some sort of rights issue, probably. That's what I'm thinking, too. Plus, they did sell well when they came, they came out, so... It was like, oh, Spider-Man Web of Shadows, whatever. Spider-Man Edge of Time, whatever. Because... Uh... See, Spider-Man 3 had just come out, or it was probably... People were kind of over Spider-Man at that point. So I think that's the reason that people didn't really buy the, the games. But now people are all like, Oh, they, you know what? We, got, we went back to playing these games, and you know what? They were actually really good games. So now, because they didn't sell well, and now people are realizing that they're actually good, great, great games, that's why everyone wants them now, so I really hope that they do, in fact, somehow re-release these games for newer consoles. Because I definitely think they should be played. If you're a big Spider-Man fan, absolutely, you'll love this game. I didn't know if I would like it or not myself, but... I'm glad I did. I picked it up for a pre uh, well, a not price I wish I had paid, but you know. I love the music in this game too. I wish they had a soundtrack I could buy. Yeah, 2010? Yeah. Yeah, no one was... <laughs> yeah, there were, there were... Because everybody, I think, was waiting for Spider-Man 4, which never came out. They were like, oh, we need a new Spider-Man! I mean, we would get Amazing Spider-Man, granted, but... Uh... Yeah, <laughs> we all know how that went. But I do like those games, though. They're not bad. Certainly better than Spider-Man 3 on the PS3. And of course, played Spider-Man 2018. That was a really good game. Alex Hirsch, really? That's cool. He was the creator of... I think he was the creator of Gravity Falls. Yeah. Um. See, that's really my plan. My plan for the rest of um, the Spider-Man games on my channel. My friend wanted me to do a gameplay of Spider-Man Activity Center, which maybe I'll do. <laughs> Spider-Man 2 Activity Center, we'll see. Uh, I still have my copy. That I got from, like, Target decades ago. Speed up the credits. No? Okay. So, in case if uh, battery goes on for too or tape goes on for too long, uh, I'd say one final thank you for watching my autism tour of Shared Dimensions. I'll for sure give a shout out to. Um, Evan, uh, Hot High Puffy Yummy Yummy Fan 2002, probably my biggest, my biggest fans. As well as Evan Kumar, I think that's how you say Kumar, yeah. Thank you for following.
watching and um, yeah. Ryan Collins, Randy Ma, Randy Ma. Shout to Randy Ma. Spider-Man Stanley. Spider-Man Noir. Andrea. Brian Reed. Yeah. Scene credits. Imagine if there was like a crazy bonus level. Right. So that's it. Thank you all for watching. Love you. And I will see you in the next Autism 3 where we do Edge of Time. Bye!